Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I would love for you to stay a while by clicking that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you don't miss another video. Today's video is going to be a collaboration with two other channels that I love their work, Mimi's um, Glam and Designs and also with the channel Yudov which I have collabed before with both of them. So we are supposed to be doing a home decor DIY and this is the one that I did. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. I'm starting off with these canvas print that I had that are not um, being used right now because the colors don't match my house. And then I'm going to be using these other tools here, this um, contact paper that I got online these screws and these hula hoops that disclaimer these hula hoops gave me the hardest time because I tried to remove this cover and they would not come off so I don't know if it was just the particular ones that I picked out but they should be able to be to come off very easily but they didn't for me so I'm gonna use them that way just for the video but eventually I'm going to have to purchase new ones to remake my cart so the first thing I did was to cover my canvas prints with the contact paper. This contact paper has a marble finish but it has some gold specks in it and I think it goes really well with the gold color that I picked out for the hoops. So it's pretty easy. Um, this contact paper is repositionable so once you put it on if it's crooked you can adjust it. So I just tried to apply it as best as I could to remove as many bubbles as possible slowly peeling the back while smoothing the top. Now that I had it on the main surface, I went ahead and smoothed it on the sides. I tucked it as much as I could with, without ripping the paper just to have a nice top finish. Next it came down to the corners. I just cut down the uh, middle and then I folded it down, not like I would a what do you call it, a present but I folded it the way you see on the screen there that was the best corner that I could do because I really didn't want it to look like it was paper then I just folded the whole flap down and then I cut off all the excess so there was a lot of excess because I didn't want to run up not have enough paper so you probably don't need to use as much as I'm using there. I just didn't want to have to redo the whole thing because I was short by like, you know, one inch or whatever. Any excess paper you have, you're just going to go ahead and trim that right off with your pair of scissors. And I took my uh, hula hoops and spray painted them with this Rust-Oleum uh, metallic gold. It's the yellow gold. And as you can see, if you don't remove the cover, it's going to give you this super uneven finish. So that's very, very important to do. So I went ahead and marked the areas where the canvas was going to meet the hoops at the highest points. And then once I had my measurements, I went ahead and did some markings and I pre-drilled all of my holes just to make it easier for me. Because I'm going through the hula hoops which are pretty um, hard plastic and then also the wood part of the canvas. I measured again to make sure I had the right position and then I went ahead and drilled the hole into my hoop. At this point I completely forgot to drain the water so I had to drain the water right there in the bowl. Any excess actually let it drip in the tub for a little bit to make sure everything was out. Next I started to screw everything in place with the holes that I already pre-drilled. And just be careful don't drill them too deep because then I'll be give you like that flat area of the hoops. So once everything was screwed in, this is what it looked like. And then for the final touch, I went ahead and added some casters. These are casters that I already had, but you can find them at Walmart um, and purchase a set. And I went ahead and measured the middle of the hoop, which was the highest point. And then I went halfway from that area, which was four inches on either side. And then I went and um, matched that with the other hoop across. I made a mark and then I started drilling my holes. So I drilled a hole and then I inserted the casters and they went in right um, into the hole. And also, I didn't drill all the way through, I only drilled through one side of the hoop, not all the way down. So 
I went ahead and re-measured again just to make sure I had my markings correctly because I didn't want to have a bajillion holes, even though I'm going to have to redo this. Um, and then I re-drilled again and inserted the last two casters in place. Now the casters come with different sizes so you're just going to have to measure and see what size drill bits that you need to use so I'm not giving that information here. And here's the final result after everything was put together and I styled it. We don't really drink in my home so I didn't style it as a bar cart, I just kind of styled it as a, you know, a decor cart. I really wish this turned out better but I know that I can redo it especially that I've done it once and I will be adding handles to the future one. If you follow me on Instagram or if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do because I will be posting the updated version of this on there. And that's it you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I will have a link to the other videos down below so be sure to check those out and I'll talk to you in my next one. God bless and bye bye.